Welcome to our new UI. So we've learned a ton over the past couple of months from all of our new users now as we approach 50,000 of you. And we put all of those learnings into a brand new platform that I am so excited to show you. So with that being said, let's dive in. Let me show you how it all works. Okay, so you've just logged in and this is what you see. Firstly, let's go through an onboarding flow where we start to generate our first AI videos. We explain here the concept of how Behemoth works. It all starts with a template. And in this example, this is the demo template we'll be using. And then from that template, we can personalize variables. Variables are the words that will change. So in this case, we're personalizing a first name and that first name could be anything. So let's enter a three first names here. Now let's hit next and got it. So you can see that we started to generate our first AI videos and they're in the campaign called onboarding flow. Once these videos are generated, we can watch them or download them. But for now, let's go back because I want to show you where the real magic happens, which is cloning yourself. And for that, all we need to do is hit create. And we're met with three options here. We need to select which template we'll be using. And there are three ways we can make a template, either by recording or uploading a video of ourself, by using one of our community templates, or by hiring an actor to make one for us through the Be Human platform. For now, let's say we want to use one of our own videos. So I'll select my videos and then create new video. And this is the video creation flow. So all we have to do is give the template a name. So for example, hit next. And now we select, are we going to be recording from our desktop or uploading a video? I'll select desktop for this option. And now we're presented with two choices, easy mode or advanced mode. Now, easy mode lets us personalize the first name only. However, as the name suggests, it's very easy to get started. Advanced mode lets us personalize anything, but it requires a couple extra steps. So for now, let's start with easy mode. So as you can see, there's a walkthrough here that you can watch. This explains how easy mode works. And I do recommend you watch this. It's only 60 seconds long. It'll give you all the details you need. But for now, I'll show you how it works as well. Let's start by generating a script. You can skip this if you'd like, if you already know what you want to say, but perhaps I could use some inspiration, right? So generate a script for, well, perhaps I'm a furniture company. Get as creative as you'd like here. And then what's the call to action? The call to action is what we want people to do after watching the video. So my call to action would be perhaps request a catalog and make an order. So let's go ahead and wait for this to generate. We're using ChatGPT and a couple of other language models to craft these scripts for you, which are all made with the intention of being used in a video message. So it's going to be very relevant for you. All right. So it generated a couple scripts for us, as we can see. So we can look through this and choose this one is best for us. This one looks pretty good. So I can either select it or if I want to touch it up a bit, I can hit the edit button and make a couple edits here. Great, let's select it. Okay, now we're given this message. Wait one second after the recording starts, you'll hear a beep and then you can start speaking your script. And the time between when you start the video and that beep is where we'll make you say hi first name. Because again, this is easy mode, so we're only personalizing the first name. So with that said, let's go ahead and let's get started. I'm going to change my camera here because the rules still apply. We want to be three to four feet at least away from the camera. I'm too close right now. So I'll get the webcam set up and we'll record the video. All right, so we have our webcam set up here. And I always found that having a somewhat, a little bit dim lighting tends to work better for the current lip sync model. So keep that in mind. That's why I change. You see, if I was to look directly straight this way, the light is a bit too harsh. However, Looking this way, it's much softer light. So we want to make sure that we keep that in mind as we film. So let's get started. How's it going? Dawn here from handcrafted.com. I hope this video message finds you well. And so a friend recently sent me your establishment and I thought, wow, I have to reach out because we have the perfect thing that's going to make your hotel stand out above the rest. You see, our handcrafted furniture are centerpieces that give off a luxurious and really enchanting feel to your establishment that's going to separate you from the crowd. Here in New York, it is crowded and it is more competitive than ever. So how do you stay relevant? And you do that with the feeling you give off when someone walks into 
whether it be your lounge entrance or foyer. So if you're, if you're interested, I would love to send you our catalog because it contains some beautiful pieces that you're not going to want to miss. So let me know if you're interested and I'll be happy to send that over and we can talk further. Thank you for your time. All right. So let's go ahead and continue. I'll hit save. Okay. And let's hit finish. Now this is our video template page. This is where the video template lives. And from here, you have a couple of options. We can either preview a sample. If you want to see what the video looks like, for example, test it before we generate, you know, a hundred or a thousand or 10,000 of these, or we can go ahead and create a new campaign. So the first thing I'll do is, you know, I want to make sure the video looks good, right? Maybe you'll have to refilm because there's some experimentation that's required here. Perhaps the lighting is not good enough. Perhaps I'm too close, right? So let's preview a sample and see how it looks. And I can put in any name here. Okay, at this point, the sample is generating. This will take between two and three minutes. All right, so about two minutes later and we're back, our video has generated. So let's check it out. This is a video from Mark. So I can hit view video and it'll download or I can press Vimeo and it'll open the Vimeo tab. Hi, Mark. How's it going? Dawn here from handcrafted.com. All right, not bad. So. Let's go back into the Beeman platform and at this point, we're happy with our video and we're ready to start actually generating these videos for our audience. So the next step is to hit create new campaign and a video template can have as many campaigns as you'd like within it. So that's the way it works. There's a video template and from that video template, you can create video campaigns. So at this point, we need to define what the campaign's name is and what we're going to use it for. So I'll just say demo for the campaign name and I'll select an industry, in this case, software, and I'll say educate customers about your product. That's what we're doing here. And I'll hit create campaign. And at this point, we have to select where we're getting our data from. Two options here right now, although we're constantly adding more. So right now we can either upload a CSV file or we can connect to Zapier. For now, I'll upload a CSV. So let me click this. And I'll open a CSV file here. Perfect. Now, the next step is to tell the system which column to use as our variable. So if you recall with easy mode, we're just personalizing the first name. So our only variable is, as you can see here, name from our video. Now we have to decide which column corresponds to that from the spreadsheet we uploaded. So in this case, it's just name. Now, again, this could be anything. It could be you know, you're selecting which city, right? If you have city in your variable, um, but for easy mode, we're just using a first name. So we did that. We made our selection and now it's time to generate some videos. So let's hit generate. Okay. Now we're brought to the share page. And as you can see, our videos are generating, uh, Mike, Cindy, and Bob are generating videos for, and they're all loading again. This will take about two to three minutes. So I'll go ahead and I'll take a brief pause on this video. We'll come back when they're done. All right, so our videos have finished generating. As you can see here, Mike, Cindy, and Bob are in for a treat because they're about to get a personalized video. So at this point, we have to decide, well, what do we do with these videos? And there are a couple of options. So as you can see, the first option is email. And we can use this feature to send our videos directly over email all from the platform. So all we have to do is start by selecting our email. And to do that, we have to first connect our email. And this can be done by going into your settings, going over to email access and connecting your email or SMS, or alternatively, we can download them as a CSV file and then upload them into our favorite platform for sending. Finally, the last option is you can use our API to send these out in a more customizable way if you are technically inclined. So coming back to the platform, that's how it all works from video creation to creating your first campaign, generating your videos, and then of course, sending them out to your audience. So once again, this UI has been designed from the start, taking into account all of your feedback and the more feedback you give us, the more we can improve and you'll continue to see updates coming onto the platform. But this is a really strong foundation for us going forward. If you have any questions at all, please use the live chat at the bottom right corner of the screen. They're best equipped to help you and respond within five minutes. Thank you so much for your support. And I'm really excited to hear what you think. We'll have more tutorials coming up over the next few days. And in the meantime, I'll see you on the platform.